Hi, it's Elisa, resident foodie and hoarder. Today I'm going to be showing you my attempt at my non-food inventory. This is week two assignment from Sutton's Days for her August pantry challenge. And so the reason I say attempt is because for me to do a non-food inventory because my non-food spreads all over the entire span of my house and beyond. <laughs> um, and so it's sort of like taking this and having me do an inventory of it. <laughs> so, okay, actually, my place is not that bad, but you get the idea. So I'm going to do the best that I can. <laughs> um, I'm going to be filming this in a couple of different segments. Actually, some of it is going to include pictures because some areas that I'm going to be in, uh, my husband will be sleeping or uh, just people will be asleep. So <laughs> if this is your first time to run across my channel, if you would like, subscribe and share, I would really appreciate it. And let's get started. I'm going to show you now where we keep some of our stuff. Okay, so this is one of those behind the door hanging things <laughs> and I have it hung in here in our laundry room. And it, this, the intended purpose for this one is to hold toilet paper and paper towels, and that is what I have in it. And this is currently holding, I believe, 18 mega rolls, so it's completely full of toilet paper right now. And then uh, this section here is for paper towels, which our paper towels are a little lean. Here's some of the toilet paper in our master bathroom. I think that container holds 17 mega rolls. So in here in our main bathroom, up there, it's never used, but it's there if it is ever needed. This is the standby if we ever run out of toilet paper. It's just uh, some of our old towels that I had cut up and I have it placed inside of the white package and just put in there to where, oops, well, it's set up to where the next one should come out. We have never actually utilized family cloth, but I did cut some so that we would have it if it ever was needed. In our other bathroom, we have a tall cabinet that has three shelves, and the bottom shelf here I have on the very left hand side hand pump soap and the very center one have some first aid and medical type of stuff and then the little basket on the right hand side I have some hair appliances like a diffuser and flat iron and so this is the basket the little hand sanitizers those were the only thing really that qualified for inventory in this little container and then this is the second shelf the front two little baskets, those are not inventoried. Those are like hairbrushes and some gels and hairsprays and stuff that I use. And then here I've just removed those. These are just extra lotion, shaving cream, shampoo, body wash. We have our soap. And in the center blue one is deodorant. And the top one is toothbrushes and so you see here there's only one deodorant which that is not even the type that my husband or I use so you might as well say we have zero really everything aside from the towels everything on the left hand side is all inventoried um, actually with the exception of the very top blue container because it's band-aids and like some first aid but everything else is inventoried pads razors um, of the little white drawers the top one is makeup and the bottom are just like travel hair and body stuff. And then here's the top shelf. And the top shelf has three buckets. The one in the front, the little short one, it has more hand soaps. And the two in the back, one has more pads in it and floss. And the other one, and it has shampoo, razors, and shaving cream. This is a box that is 
in my bathroom. It is all cleaning supplies. I also did not inventory this box because these are all things that I got for free or almost free back when I was couponing. And even if I used them all up, they just aren't products that I would probably replace. So that's why they're not inventoried. This is one of the baby's cribs. And underneath it is a black crate that houses extra first aid supplies. This is the inside of that medical crate. And here are some homemade fire starters that I had made. And there is a bucket of some similar items and a few candles. I came across this box of toothbrushes in this closet that I was in. This is a box of 24 toothbrushes. These are kind of like the kind that if you're at a motel and forget your toothbrush, and this is the type that they would provide. These are some homemade firewood that I had made several years ago, actually. There's four of them there. Okay, so this is what we keep our diapers in. It holds 24 diapers. It's just how many we cram in there. That's not how many is in there right now. As you can see, they're kind of baggy and laying over to the side. Liam, get back. And um, anyway, so my diaper count, my diaper count does not count what is in here and does not count like what's in the car or what's in the diaper bag. So. Here's a few of the batteries that I found. These were in a container on the top of a shelf in our laundry room. Along with, uh, I did find some lighters. I hadn't found any lighters in the whole house, with the exception of like our really long ones that we have in a couple of places in the house just for candle lighting and whatnot. And I wasn't counting those, but I found like some just small cigarette lighters and uh, so I was glad of that. And then finally found a box of matches. I have matches. I have lots of matches. I just have no idea where they're at. But I found one full box of 32 matches. Okay, before I go into my inventory, I wanted to explain a little something to you as far as my numbers. and Most items that we have that we use on a daily basis, or at least fairly regularly, we have anywhere from two to four of those items all the time. And for example, deodorant. We have one in each bathroom and then I have one in my toiletry bag and my husband has one in his. Toothbrushes, same way. I have one in each bathroom and one in my toiletry bag and I'm sure he has one in his. We have a lot of things that are like that. And so when I say we have one deodorant, which it just so happens we have one deodorant, <laughs> um, it means that we have one deodorant outside of those two to four that we're actively using. Okay, so here's my non-food inventory written out. I have it broken into several categories. I begin here with first aid and medical supplies, and I have it broken down again into smaller categories and with kits, bandages, gauze, tape, and wash, and then... PPE or personal protective equipment, antibacterial, and then here I got kind of lazy and quit doing categories and just started listing things individually. Um, again, these are just the extra items that are not already in our first aid kits and whatnot, and again, that's what this stuff is. And then my next category is sanitation and cleaning. And I just really don't have a lot of those type of items. Like, I only have one extra bottle of vinegar, a little small bottle of bleach. I just really don't have a lot of some of the, what I would consider more important items. Personal hygiene. 
I mentioned already that we only have one extra deodorant. Um, there are some categories that I'm like doing really well in, um, like toothbrushes, adult toothbrushes. I have 17 plus the box of 24 that I came across. Um, anyway, so that's all the personal hygiene stuff. Then I go in here into paper products. I'm not as stocked on toilet paper as I would like to be. Um, I have listed here family cloth tons. <laughs> and that is because I have cut a lot of um, reusable toilet paper with... I have cut up a lot of our towels. And for that reason... And then we have an abundance of towels, so it's almost uh, like we have a never-ending supply. Um, and regarding paper towels, we actually really don't use that much. Um, I do have some cloth paper towels that I use on occasion. Yeah, and we do use napkins, though. I just have no extra napkins right now, so that's something else that I need to get. Uh... I'd also like to get some more of these disposable foil pans. I don't have very many of those. Laundry. Not very stocked in the laundry department. Light. I have it broken down into candles, fire starters, firewood, matches, lighters. And light bulbs. I'm not very stocked with light bulbs. Six light bulbs is not enough extra light bulbs. And then I have here the weird light bulbs in our living room fan. I have three of those. Batteries. You saw where I came across some batteries. And then baby. The diapers. The disposable diapers, 322. That... It sounds like a lot, but when you have, um, I have 15 month old twins and when you have, uh, two babies about that age, um, 322 would probably last, actually I didn't figure it up. I'm just ballparking it here. Probably, uh, maybe 20 days. Uh, I have 15 all in one diapers and those are, they look the most like, um, a disposable diaper, nine pocket diapers, which they have a pocket within them to um, accommodate the filling that is placed inside. And then I have 50 plus flats and prefolds, which you would use underneath um, one of these seven diaper covers. Or as a filler, um, additional padding, so to say, inside of one of the all-in-ones or the pocket diaper. And then wipes, I have a significant amount of baby washcloths, which are great as being a cloth wipe. Oops. Um, and then I have office, which I just have an estimate of counts of envelopes that I have and some, I have four packing tapes and I just have one extra ream of paper. Okay guys, so that is all the non-food stuff I have inside this house. I'm gonna explain why my situation is a little bit different than others perhaps. Right at a year ago, my parents passed away and so my brother and I had pretty much split everything. Most things that had duplicates, we just split it right down the middle. And a lot of these items were the type of stuff that I'm inventorying now. To, I do not have these items inventoried. It's, I really don't know how many crates that I have. I have no idea. I really have no idea. But I'm, I did my best to try to estimate how much I might have of certain items. And so, like, I know that I have one large crate that is just toilet paper like toilet paper just smashed into a large crate like I know I have that and then I know that I have three crates completely full of bath and body just 
piled up to the top of Bath and Body. One of those three is like all one brand. Um, then I have a crate that is full of the little green propane tanks. I have, I think, two crates that are completely full of office supplies. All kinds of office supplies. Um, at least three crates of first aid and medical. There's a lot. There was a lot of medical and first aid. Um, I believe there's two crates of just cram full of cleaning supplies. There's at least one crate of trash bags. There's a crate full of lights. I know a lantern, like oil lamps. There's oil. I have a couple of bottles of oil in there. And some solar powered lights. Tons of flashlights. There's a crate that has candles in it. All kinds of candles. I have so much stuff. <laughs> there are some items that come to mind that I didn't necessarily like fill up a whole crate with, but that I have a significant number of. And that would be, we got quite a few essential oils, laundry soap, <laughs> sanitizer. We have a lot of sanitizer, ammo, different types of ammo. Um, in the tool category, uh, aside from like the large um, power tools, you know, my husband didn't want duplicates of, I pretty much kept a copy of everything that we have. <laughs> so we have an extra of every tool, like pretty much that exists. But anyway, I hope to get everything a little more organized at some point in time and I hope to be able to do an actual inventory of some of this stuff. Thank you for watching.